Welcome to this Twisted Tools tutorial video for the MP16 sampler. Currently, there are two versions of the MP16. MP16A, which comes with Richard Devine's Analog Microcosm sample pack. And MP16B, which comes with the Glitch Machine's Elements sample pack. In this video, I'll be using the MP16B sampler. While there are significant differences between the MP16B and the MP16A samplers, the information in this video can easily be applied to any version. For a complete description of the differences between the MP16 samplers, just follow the link you see on screen. Let's get started. The MP16 is a 16-voice pad-style sampler for Native Instruments Reactor 5. The MP16 comes with an empty sample map with 128 slots. You can load your own samples into any available slot and assign that slot to one of the 16 pads. Before doing so, be sure to hit play so that reactor's clock is running. To load your own sample into a slot and assign it to a pad, simply select a pad and choose which of the 128 sample slots you'd like to use for that pad by turning the select knob. Next, click the pad to activate your selection and right-click the waveform and choose Replace Sample. Find the sample you'd like to load, and that's it. You've just assigned a sample to a pad. You could assign a unique sample to each pad, or you could have the same sample assigned to each pad, but processed differently. Once the sound is assigned to the pad, you could begin to adjust the playback parameters, effects, settings, and modulation. All these settings are independent for each pad. The basic pad playback parameters are pitch, start position, select, pan, and volume. Below those knobs, you'll find the amplitude envelope settings for the currently selected pad. Attack is the time it takes for the sound to reach its maximum amplitude. Hold determines the amount of time the sample will play back before the next stage, the decay phase, begins. Decay determines the time it takes for the amplitude to ramp down to the sustain level. Sustain determines the level at which the sample will play back as long as the pad is held down. Release determines the time it takes for the sample's amplitude to return to zero. Below the parameter knobs, you'll find the playback settings. Sync functions like a node on and node off quantize. For example, if sync is set to whole note, when you trigger a pad, MP16 will wait until the next whole note is reached to begin playback. When you release the pad, MP16 will wait for the next absolute whole note to stop playback. The reverse button reverses the pad's playback. Solo will silence all other pads that aren't set to solo. Mute silences that pad. Quant quantizes the current pad's start knob to 16th notes. This is useful if you are using loops and would like the start to snap to a beat. If BPM is on, the pitch of the sample is adjusted to match the tempo. Length determines the playback length of the sound. These values are based on sample length. Half means the first half of the loop will be cycled. Look below the waveform display and you will see a yellow horizontal line which indicates the length of the sample to be played back. Below the playback settings, you'll find the effects section where you can set the effects parameters for each pad. The effects parameters are as follows. Sample rate reduction. A setting of zero here will play back the sample at the original sample rate while turning the knob clockwise will reduce the sample rate. Next, you'll see bit or bit reduction. A setting of zero will play back the sample at the original bit depth, while turning the knob clockwise reduces the bit depth. The next three knobs determine the filter settings. Cutoff sets the frequency at which point the filter will begin to remove frequencies above or below the cutoff position. Resonance boosts frequencies around the cutoff position, and the LP-HP knob determines whether the filter functions as a low-pass or high-pass filter. Next, let's look at modulation. Each pad has modulation settings, which can be accessed by clicking the modulation tab. There are two freely assignable modulation sequencers, 
labeled Seek A and Seek B. You could think of these sequencers as automation patterns, which can be assigned below in the modulation matrix to affect certain parameters for that pad. Click and drag to draw a pattern in either modulation sequencer. Click the Seek A or Seek B labels to randomize the pattern. Turn on loop and the pattern loops for as long as you hold down a pad. Turn off loop and the pattern will only play back once. You could also change the length and the speed of each pattern. Use the modulation matrix below to assign a modulation sequencer to a parameter. The top menu is the source of modulation, and the bottom menu is the destination parameter. Also note that you can assign the amplitude envelope settings we discussed earlier as a modulation source. The slider in the middle represents the polarity of the modulation. Setting the slider to the right will cause the destination parameter to be offset in a positive direction by the source, whereas setting the yellow slider to the left will cause a negative modulation by the source. Now let's look at the rest of the settings and controls found to the right of the pads, beginning with the follow button. If you would like to prevent the MP16B settings from changing every time you play a new pad, you could turn off follow, which will allow you continued access to the parameters of the last played pad, regardless of whether or not you trigger other pads. This way, you could continue to play other pads while making adjustments to a specific pad. The yellow highlight above the pad indicates which pad is currently active. If you'd like to manually select a pad to be edited with follow mode off, simply click above the pad you'd like to edit with your mouse. Next, copy and paste allow you to copy and paste settings between pads. This is very useful if you want to apply the settings of one pad to another. Next, click the reset button to quickly set a pad's parameters back to their default state. Lastly, the three large knobs to the right of the pads are the only parameters that are globally applied to all pads, and they are the master pan, pitch, and volume knobs. Use these to apply adjustments to all the pads. And that's the MP16. Thanks for watching. Be sure to look out for more MP16 videos coming soon.